Hi, I'm Christy. And who are you? Levi. And we are from Sapphire Skies Farm, and today we are gonna make some traps to catch some bugs. So come with us, and we will show you how to do it. This is our cauliflower, and it's been eaten by the earwigs. So we're gonna make some traps to catch the earwigs. Okay, so what are we gonna put in our traps? Vegetable oil and soy sauce. Okay, and how much of each do we do? Do we fill the whole thing up? No. Okay, what do we do? We pour a little bit of both. Okay, and do we do about the same amount of each? Yeah. Okay, go ahead and do some. Let me get close, hold on. Okay, good. So here he's just barely making enough to cover the bottom and then you definitely don't want to fill it all the way full because then the earwigs can climb back out. Are you safe there, bud? Yep. Okay. But do you want more? A little bit more than that. That's good. Okay. okay, go ahead and put the lid back on so we don't spill it on accident. <laughs> it is heavy. <laughs> Okay, and close the lid to the soy sauce so we don't spill the soy sauce. Okay, and then we need to kind of like mush some of that bale so that you can push that plant in. Want me to do it? The plant? The pot, I mean, the bucket. Hold on, stop, stop, stop. So I'm gonna push this away. If you're gardening in the dirt, you would just dig, but I garden in straw bales. So I'm gonna push this in just so it's flush, so the bugs can easily get in, and it's shallow enough that once they get in, they can't get out. Okay, so now we just need to make like 15 more of those. Okay, Levi? <laughs> Good? Yeah. Let's go. Okay, so this is one I found in the garden. I had used it last year as a bug trap, so I'm gonna dig another spot. So when I have a big row of bales, I like to do it between two bales. I'm just digging the bale aside, bearing it down, getting the chunks out, and we'll do it again, half and half. You can get nice and close to this if you want, Levi. Mmm! Yay! So this has the oil Ew. in it already. And soy sauce, and still plenty of room on the side here where the earwig won't get out. Just doing some more. Yep. Let me just see what color it looks like. Okay, so um, I put this one close to the strawberries because I often find little tiny bites out of my strawberries. And in my area, our pest is either slugs or the earwigs for these. So I definitely do not want the bugs to eat my yummy food. Hi. Hi. Before we get to it. So there we go. Another trap by the strawberry. Okay. So I just came over here and I found one of my oil traps that I had set just a couple weeks ago. It rained a little bit, so it's a little fuller than I want it to be. Levi, go ahead and show right here. Okay. Okay. So this oil trap, it's still, even though it rained, it still has a little bit of room here, and can you see the bugs that it caught? Woohoo! Woohoo! It caught some bugs! So many bugs. So now these bugs are gone, they won't reproduce, and I haven't killed my beneficial bugs. And I'm just gonna go ahead and toss this, and then I will refill this so it's nice and fresh. Alright, so now I'll fill it up again. So this is the cauliflower it ate down. It's hard when it rains to get out these traps because most of the traps end up filling up too much for the bugs to actually get caught. They can get out if it's too full. Um, but luckily this one caught a lot of them. But sad to say, in one night, they can eat them all the way down like that. So the good news is this is 
some new growth here that will come back hopefully. Oopsies. It's okay, that stuff was dead anyways. So hopefully we'll still get some cauliflower. So let's add the soy sauce to this. What does the soy sauce do? They like the smell. So we're not gonna complain about catching any bugs. That's for sure, right bud? Right. Yay! Look what we just found. What is it, Levi? A ladybug. And what are ladybugs good for? Eating aphids. So they eat the aphids, and even though we released, where did he go? Even though we released about 1,500 ladybugs this year, there will still be aphids in our garden. And so we're going to set another trap to catch some aphids. Okay, what do you have there? Petroleum jelly and a yellow cup. Okay, and what do we use our yellow cups for first? Covering them in Vaseline. Well, first we use them to plant in. Yep, so we use them one time to plant in. Sometimes twice. Sometimes twice. And then we turn it around after we put our plant in the ground and we cover it in the petroleum jelly. So try to find the least expensive because it doesn't matter how much it costs. It just matters that it's petroleum jelly. So any brand will work. All right, Levi, you want to record me doing it now? Okay, so I have a used yellow cup that had a tomato in it. See, they have holes in the bottom. Um, so I'm gonna turn it over and I have my petroleum jelly. And I just wanted to show my variegated nasturtium that we'll put in the ground, hopefully soon. Uh, and so I'm gonna take like a decent heaping size of this petroleum jelly and make sure I put the lid back on so I don't get dirt stuck inside of it. And I'm gonna cover this. You wanna get close? Yep. So just smear it as thick as disgusting and delicious as possible. <laughs> and I even do the top. All right, looks good. So I did this couple, couple minutes ago, Levi. So it already has one stuck to it, so that's good. Okay, follow me. Ready? Okay. Okay, so we're gonna stick it over here. Mom, wait, slow down. And so, point it there. I'm gonna stick it up here so it's away from the plants. If I put it next to my plants, it would be attracted to the plants. So I have it up here so that the aphids are attracted away from the plants. Okay? Okay. Okay, what do you have, Levi? Beer in a blue cup. What are you gonna do with beer? Pour it into the blue cup. And what are you gonna catch? Slugs. Slugs, all right. Okay, I'm ready. So I have a nice spot right here, point the camera right there, that has an indent from be being between the two bales. So I'm gonna stick this cup here, and then we're gonna pour the beer. the beer in there. And if you have dirt, you can just dig a hole and bury the cup. And you want the dirt level to be right about where just below the rim of the cup is because the slugs will fall in and then they won't be able to get out. So I will pour it and I'll let it get nice and frothy and then once once the froth goes down then um, the beer will there'll be enough in the cup to catch any slugs that fall in and they won't be able to get out. Okay so we have a earwig trap and a slug trap both right by our strawberries because those seem to be our biggest pests to our strawberries and we would rather eat the strawberries than let those bugs eat our strawberries. Okay so the reason why I use a blue solo cup is because I have blue solo cups <laughs> and I want something to be nice and deep because as the sun evaporates the beer um, there will be less beer. And if I use like a big narrow dish, then I'll end up evaporating more beer, more of the water from the beer than I really want to. Um, and it will be gone faster. So I use the solo cup because the surface is a little bit 
smaller and um, I used to use a pie tin and I'd have to come out like every other day and refill. So blue solo cup. And then I use just the cheapest beer I can find. At this point, I found Coors Light. Sometimes it's been like Natty Ice or whatever. But the point is, is to have beer and make it inexpensive. And the solo cup is a cup we had used before it would have gone into the trash, into the recycling. And instead of just getting rid of it, we're gonna use it to catch slugs. Okay, one more set of strawberries here in my straw bale. And I found another spot where there's a nice hole already forming. So I'll just stick my blue solo cup down in there. And sometimes I have to push the bales a little bit. So I want the slugs to be able to climb in, but not climb out. So there we go. And once again, we'll just let it get nice and frothy and fill up. And by the time that that all goes down, we will have just enough in there. All right, let's do the last trap, okay, Levi? Okay, so it turned out that my phone died. So we have to come back. This is, it's been three days now. We did set that last trap, so we're gonna show that to you right now. Um, but it already has caught stuff in it. <sniffs> Yummy. Let me turn this around. Levi, go ahead and sit down there, boy. Mm -hmm. Okay, so what do you have there, Levi? Baker's Corner Molasses. Okay, and what did we do with it? Did we mix it with anything? No. What did we do with it? Just poured it into one of the Tupperwares. Into one of the Tupperwares? Mm -hmm. Yeah, and so what do we see inside this Tupperware already? It's kind of getting hurt on top, but the bugs will still go in and get caught. So for sure, there's like something in there, right? Yeah. What is that? Like a beetle -y thing or something? Something. Something that was eating my garden and got attracted to that. And there's also a bunch of pincher bugs in there. Yep. And I just saw a pincher bug get away. Did you? Mm-hmm. Good. Let's go check our pincher bug traps. All right, did you find one of our pincher bug traps? Mm -hmm. You want to show me it? Many. Ew, isn't that so gross? Yeah, I want to so hurl. that is hurl. what I've been eating. <laughs> you want to hurl? Yeah. <laughs> I won't make you eat it, I promise. That, here, scoot your head back because you're in the shadow. There we go. That is what was eating my garden. And now it's not. Want to go find some more pincher bug traps? Yeah. There are no slugs in this. So I picked a bunch trap. of strawberries yesterday and we ate them. There's some cantaloupes I just planted. Oh, there we go. A little one. <laughs> Look at it, Levi. Wow. That's like half the amount we got in the other one. A bit more than half. So gross. That's gross. So would you say that our traps are successful, Levi? Heck yeah. Heck yeah. But not the slug traps and catching slugs. So this was like getting eaten every night and it's growing back a little bit more. Hopefully I'll get those growing more. What is it? It's cucumbers. So I did plant more in the house, but I'm hoping that this has like a nice great root system over here and will grow so that we can get some ca uh, cucumber. But Definitely got some pincher bugs in this one. And the strawberries are starting to look like they're good. Now can we check on the beer trap? We'll do it last, okay? Mm -hmm. Well, after this, at least. It's hard to see because there's all these little tiny, tiny, tiny microscopic flies and stuff on top, but there is a ton of pincher bugs in there too. Any more traps? Pincher bug traps? I think there's one more big one over here. Oh, there's a ripe strawberry, yum. Okay, and just not quite as many pincher bugs over here, which surprises me, because I can tell that they're still eating this plant, which is a real bummer. Maybe it's a different animal. A different oh. bug? Yeah. Yeah, it could be, huh? Yeah. All right, do you want to show me the beer traps? Yeah. Okay, where's the beer traps? The closest one is over here? Right here. Okay. And is there any slugs inside of our beer trap? No. 
You know what? That is disappointing because I'm not going to lie. I saw one in it yesterday. Maybe it's down on the bottom. We just can't see it. Yeah, I think I saw something on the bottom. And mom. <clears throat> Come on. Uh-huh. Maybe it's inside. I left beer inside there. <laughs> There's something else inside of that beer over there? Yeah, something else that we don't want in our garden. What is it? A giant pincher bug. A giant pincher bug in a, our beer trap? Oh, yes, one. this must have been where I saw a slug. Look, Levi, that is a slug right there on the edge. Blech. Gross. At least we caught a slug. Yeah. A slug. A slug. One slug is better than none. Is this a beetle too right here? Hmm? Is that a beetle there too? I think so. Yeah, I think we caught a beetle too. All right, so our bug traps are doing all right. So I think my take home from this is that I need to bring some soil in here to like make it level across here so that the slugs can actually get in. Cause I can tell that the earwigs are getting in right here probably, but maybe the slugs need like easier access to this. Yeah, or we could just push this down. Don't, 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 what if it, breaks and splashes everywhere. All right, let's go check our yellow cups. We already checked one. But I didn't show them, so let's go show them. Yeah. Which is the one that fell off when we were Okay, so since we put this trap down, my husband, Tyler, has actually pulled all this broccoli out, but we left the trap here. So, Levi, you wanna, <laughs> you don't wanna pick that up, it's gross, huh? Okay, so this trap, is covered in bugs. Just totally covered in bugs. What kind was it supposed to catch? Aphids. What kind did it, did it actually catch? Well, something that flies. Lots of them. I mean, I'm not sure that they're aphids, but they're definitely some sort of flies. Mm -hmm. I've never really seen an aphid when it's squished and dead, so maybe it's aphids? I don't know. So the other thing I want to mention is this one over here. I put it up high so it would attract the bugs away from the plant. And I wasn't sure if they would actually come up here, but there is some stuck on it. Let's take it off. So yeah, there is some bugs stuck on this. Not quite as much as down by the plant, so. I mean, I know that that broccoli was covered in aphids already. The ladybugs were doing their job as best as they could, but there were so many aphids. Good. Now it's growing taller than the last time I came out here. The tomatoes? No, that one. Oh yeah, that sunflower? Yeah. Yeah, it looks good, huh? Oh yeah, I love sunflowers. Do you want to show them the fly trap? Do you know where the fly trap is? No. Here, I'll show you. Let's go this way. A Venus fly trap? Not a Venus fly trap. Uh, I wish. I want a Venus. Fly I know. I have grown Venus fly traps before and not been super successful. So they have to stay really uh, moist, and I don't. I don't know. I guess I just don't do a good enough job. They gotta stay really moist, like have a lot of moisture in them. Okay, look right here, Levi. Why don't you get up there and tell me how that smells? You getting some smells from that? Ew! It smells so bad, huh? Yeah, <laughs> and what do you notice like around us right now, like not even in the trap? Do you notice that there's flies all over the place? Yeah. So that is a fly trap. And I said it just like maybe the flies a couple days ago probably yeah, the same day yeah you know I probably said it the same day that we that we put all of our other bug traps out I should have put it in our video too huh but it's got a whole bunch of flies inside there it's so gross mm -hmm. and I think that one of the reasons it smells so bad is because it's a little bit from concentrate oh yeah is it a little bit below the line yeah all right maybe we'll add a little water to it so it smells, the smell is what attracts the flies. It wants the flies, the flies want to get to that smell. So gross. 
but it's doing its job and that's what we want. We don't want the flies over here with our animals, wherever they're hiding. Why don't we? Well, cause then they're just gonna make, they'll land on all the poop and make more flies. And do we really enjoy having flies flying around our face? Heck no. Heck no. But flies do pollinate one type of extremely stinky flower. <laughs> it smells like rotting meat. Do you? It's called the corpse flower. The corpse flower? Mm -hmm. Cool. I forgot to add that the yellow solo cups are specifically used for the aphids because aphids are attracted to yellow. And so the aphids um, come and see this nice big yellow solo cup in your garden and they jump on that and then they're stuck. I hope you learned something today and enjoyed what we had to share. If you did, like, comment below, ask any questions. I'd love to try to answer um, any questions that you have and uh, feel free to subscribe to our channel. Thanks. Bye.